What's up guys, today I want to take you through a short tutorial on how to set up some notifications, push notifications with Firebase uh, cloud messaging and this is what we'll be building. You'll sign in anonymously with Firebase Auth, you'll allow notifications and then you should receive a new token. We can ignore those errors for now and copy this new token, send a test message, add the token to your Firebase instance and send test and now you'll see we have a message received because the client was open it didn't do a background message but if we close down the client and we send the test message again with the recent token you'll see that in the corner of your page you will receive a new um, notification and if you click this notification it should take you to the website and on the website you'll see firebase messaging receive the background message and you receive the data to do whatever you want to do with that data so let's get started and I hope you enjoy the video so before we get started I just want to give a huge shout out to Superdense for sponsoring this video you can use my discount code if you'd like to check out Superdense Superdense is a multi-platform bookmark manager in the browser that helps you stay productive so without further ado, let's get to the video. So to get started, you first want to enter a or create a new um, Firebase project. I'm going to call it Notification Test Kaizen. I don't want to enable Google Analytics and then it will create your new project. Inside your new project, you want to do two things. Go to Authentication and select Get Started and then you want to add a new notification I mean authentication sign-in method click the anonymous enable and save once that's completed you can scroll down to cloud messaging under engage in the sidebar and to enable cloud messaging click this the uh, web app create a name and register the app you don't if you want to you can set up firebase hosting but in this tutorial we won't be doing that and once that's done you get a firebase config you can copy this config to use in your application now that you have a cloud messaging set up you can go to the project on top click on settings project settings and then go to the uh, cloud messaging tab and then this is a key that you would want to keep secret um, but for now you can generate a key pair on web push and this is your vapid key that you will use in your application copy that vapid key and then you will add it in your application soon to get started create a new Nuxt app with the on create Nuxt app notification app and select all the options that you need so after your app has been installed you can see the into notifications app and then you can do uh, your own add or we can open it up in code so we can do code dot and yarn add firebase because we'll need the firebase package to do this so firebase will install in the background while code opens up and what we're going to start off with doing is adding Firebase to our plugins folder. So we create a new uh, file in the plugins and we'll call this firebase.js. And in firebase.js, we're going to import two dependencies from Firebase and get messaging. So you have to also add your um, Firebase config that we spoke about. So let me just grab that and then what we want to do is initialize the app so first we have to check if there is apps by doing get apps and then we can say that the const app equals if there's no apps dot length so if we haven't registered an app yet we can do initialize app with the firebase config else we can use the first app that's been registered so apps at zero and what we want to do is export messaging so we can export messaging which is equals to get messaging and we pass in the app 
So to use this, we'll have to go to Nuxt config and under plugins, we have to add the add slash plugins and Firebase. So that brings in our plugin and we can start a service along. While that's building, we can go to our pages index.view. But first, before we do that, we need to add static. We need to add one static file with a very specific name called um, the Firebase Messaging Service Worker. So we have to add the Firebase Messaging Service Worker.js. And in here, all we have to do is initialize our app again because the Firebase instance is. Uh, running on the client but the service worker would be running in the background so we need to give it its own instance of Firebase so that it knows who we are and we can't import the Firebase from our um, packages because this is a non-compiled file so it won't understand import so we have to use import scripts and then use the CDN links to get the uh, Firebase stuff so then we have to do the same thing that we did in plugins is to get off uh, Firebase config and in the service worker we can do the uh, firebase.initialize app and because we imported those scripts on top this is now global variables in the service worker and we can pass in the Firebase config and then we have to initialize messaging which we can set equal to firebase.messaging and we can listen to a background message this is optional but for our sake we want to log whatever has been received in the background once we open up our application so we can save that and this is all we need to do in our service worker for it to understand the firebase messages coming in next up what we want to do is just create a page um, and we'll make this really simple we'll just add h1 that says uh, fcm push notifications and in there we can first wrap this in a div and below that we can create an a link with no href and we can just say add click equals authenticate because for Firebase Cloud Messaging to work, you need authenticated users. So let's say authenticate has the message and then we can call methods authenticate. And what we want to do in the authenticate method is to um, log in the user. So to log in the user, we'll import the get auth and sign in anonymously from Firebase auth. So we can import that up here and then what we want to do in authenticate is just say await sign in anonymously and what we need to do is pass the get auth um, instance and then we'll call another method called this.activate and what activate will do is it will so we need an async over here but what activate will do is it will actually register the app's um, token so we can call activate and what we want to do here is get a token from messaging so in order to get messaging we need to import that from the firebase plugin that we created and we also want to import the get messaging and on message and in activate the only thing we want to use is the uh, get token method so we can say that the token is equals to await get token and we have to pass the messaging into this and then there's also a very special key required the one that I showed you in the console which is your vapid key when you uh, clicked uh, create new key pair and this object takes a vapid key and you can paste your key in there and this is safe to use on the client side but do not paste your server key in here and I will delete this Firebase project after this video has been made so for you guys trying to access it sorry and then we have to do if there's a token 
The only thing we'll do for now is just console.log the token so that we can give it to the Firebase instance. And else we would want to do something else like request the mission again. But in our case we'll just do nothing. So this will allow us to get the token right after we've signed in with Authenticate. So what we want to do on Mounted, uh, which is a live lifecycle event, um, we can get messaging again. And what we want to call here is say on message and we'll pass in the messaging. And it's going to receive a payload. And all we're going to do is console.log message on client. And we'll pass in the payload. So this on message will fire if the browser is opened on the tab. So what you would likely do in this situation is um, fetch new items or do whatever the notification, what the purpose is of doing. So in Firebase messaging, you also get access to the on background message and you can do the same sort of thing in, in this instance. So let's go back to the index page and let's see if we can um, actually get this to work. So this would be our um, authenticate link. So we can open up the console. If we click authenticate, then it should do a background authentication. And Firebase apps is not a function in the service worker. So we can fix the syntax over there. And instead of apps, we have to say app. And then we can go back to our notification app and we've received our key that we want to use in sending these um, notifications. Back to our project and back to engage and cloud messaging. And then send a test message. So because the app is open, um, if, if it's not in the foreground, so if it's a tab, then it should also give us a notification. And we add that key that we just received and we send a test message. And now you'll see that we get the test message. And if we click the test message, it will open up the tab that we weren't focusing on. And you can see that we received the background message. So let's say that the tab is actually open and then we can send another test message where the app is open. If you send that, then you should see message on client and you received your notification. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. You can try and be creative with this. Uh, you add your keys to your Firebase um, Firestore and you can send messages to all the keys with a Firebase function, or you can create an app that actually has a use case for this. And if you'd like to see something in more detail, please comment below, but this was just a short setup tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you soon. Cheers.